Hey everybody! On this episode of Duplass and Esperanza's Adventures, we finally make it to San Felipe and Victor's RV Park. We also make it to Playa Hawaii, a beautiful beach in Baja that we end up having all to ourselves. But before we get started, please take a minute to like, subscribe, and comment on the video because it really helps our YouTube channel. All right, let's check out Victor's and Playa Hawaii. Hi, we're Douglas and Esperanza. And like many of you, we feel like we've lived a blessed life with amazing family and friends. We've had many incredible adventures in the past and we know the best memories aren't made and everything goes as planned. We've worked hard since we were young and after seeing people around us taken before they could enjoy their lifetime of hard work, we decided to sell everything and make our dreams a reality so that we can live before we die. Backing into our spot right on the ocean. Looks so beautiful. Right by the Palapa Beach Cafe. So we made it to San Felipe. Our trailer's right here. Palm and trees. Here sand. is our view. Straight out of our spot, the ocean. San Felipe, the iconic mountain there in the back. Incredible. Now we just have to get our trailer set up and then we'll be ready to relax. So we heard from some people at the RV park that there was a world-class violinist playing at the restaurant next door and we had to go over and check it out and when we got there I couldn't believe the song he was playing a lot of you may know what this is referring to if not just enjoy the music if you do you're gonna have a good laugh <laughs> different on different days. Today the, our beach actually looked pretty nice and the water looked pretty blue so maybe it'll look like Playa Hawaii today. Not sure but I've always wanted to come here. I always said if we get down here we're going to Playa Hawaii and so we are on our way and we will see. We have no idea what to expect because this is not a popular beach. There's almost nothing written about it anywhere. I found a few pictures of it on the web. That's about it. So this is going to be an adventure. We are pulling down to fly Hawaii. I'm holding the camera, but we're driving on a dirt road in the middle of nowhere with nobody around. So as you can see, we're pulling up. 
up. The water looks pretty beautiful in here. There are a bunch of unfinished houses, so that should be interesting. It looks like Playa Hawaii may be beautiful. We don't know because uh, back here there's these cliffs and it's might be there might be a beach down there there's supposed to be on google earth you can see one but uh with esperanza's boot on i don't think we're gonna make it all the way down these cliffs so no hiking for me it is there is something else cool here there's this whole subdivision of unfinished houses they just got the walls up and that's about it and there's like maybe eight here so somebody was going to develop this little section of beach but somehow decided not to so all right we're going to go try to find the beach close by here all right well we did make it down to the beach because there ended up being a little road that we found and we followed it down to the beach we need to take some air out of the tires i'm gonna see if i can get to a flat spot to do it but we are in the sand a little bit. Not a big deal. Doug's going to air down the tires so we can hopefully drive better. There's a little bit a little bit. <laughs> but we got out. Let's see what Doug's doing. So Doug is airing down the tires so we can drive on the sand better. We are now in hot pursuit of the Pina Colada truck. This guy passed us. He's got a mobile bar set up and we're chasing him down the beach. We got to get, get up there so we can get some Pina Coladas. So we caught the guy with the uh, mobile truck. Close him, no Jorge. Jorge. Jorge, this is Jorge. Yeah, Jorge. He's gonna make us a pia colada today. Very cool. Yeah. Perfect. So we got our Coconut pina colada. Jorge didn't have any rum, but mm. guess what? Esperanza had us covered. Ah. <laughs> she was prepared. So we can now have a real pina colada. In our truck. On the beach. In San Felipe. Hopefully you can hear me. It's windy here. Uh, you can see our umbrella blowing, but uh, I have the wind guard on, and so we'll see if that helps out. We are set up here. We've got the truck kind of set up as a wind block, and ocean's right behind us. We are on Playa Hawaii. We have our, our drink that Jorge made us. Really nice, and then uh, down this way, Got the iconic uh, San Felipe mountain there, right on the beach. We're on the uh, north side of it right now, uh, and the town's on the south side of it. So this is the beautiful Playa Hawaii, and there's nobody else here. We are just hanging out and checking it out. I'll see if I can get the drone up to, to get some footage. I don't know because it's pretty windy. I don't think I'm gonna be able to fly the drone today, but um, we are gonna hang out here. Just have a chill beach day.
it's pretty nice here in Playa Hawaii. I'm glad we made the effort to uh, come here and check it out. You know, we are just about 10 minutes north of San Felipe. And San Felipe, you know, is, is a decent sized town and it's fairly busy and the beaches have quite a few people on them. But here we are at Playa Hawaii. And as far as you can see all the way down to the mountain, and as far as you can see the other way, all the way down the beach, not a single person. We are the only two people on this beach today. Um, you know, the water isn't as pretty as it has been because the tide's out. And so the, when the tide's out, uh, there's actually a really, really wide uh, flat plain. You know, it's only a foot or two deep out about, um, you know, a half a mile or so here. So it gets kind of this brown color, but when the tide comes in, then it gets more of the blue color and just beautiful there's not even really there's a few houses here and there there's a lot of abandoned houses on the the cliffs here you can see the truck over there and literally as far down the beach as you can see not a person on the beach this is what living the retired life in mexico is about having a whole beautiful sand beach uh, to yourself you know this is some some really nice sand it's not super white but it's uh, really light sand nice good quality and uh, uh, real fine sand no garbage um, there's a little bit of rocks here and there because the tides out but uh, when the tides in you can tell that there's probably not any rocks showing or anything once the tides in and so this is definitely going to go on uh, one of our favorite lists. We made it to Bahia de los Angeles. Beautiful view right out our trailer door. This is Baja driving. Notice the white line. There's nothing on the other side of it. Notice the semi coming the other way right on the yellow line. We have made it to Bahia Gonzaga or Gonzaga Bay and we are at Rancho Grande. Douglas found all these amazing shells 